Hi guys, I'm back with a collective reading. So, I'm just going to shuffle the Les Vampires Oracle deck. And I'll see what messages we get for you. This is for all signs. Okay, so I'd like to ask my guides for messages for all signs of the zodiac, please. These are like healing messages for whatever situation you're in. Okay, so can I have messages for what's going on with the collective, please? Messages for the collective, please. Messages for the collective, please. Okay, so three cards came out. We've got faith. We've got redemption in reverse and ecstasy in reverse. Yeah, so whatever situation you're in, this requires your faith. That's what I'm hearing. Trusting in your situation. You could be trusting in God right now, praying to the Most High. You could be going through some sort of sadness, that's what I'm hearing. And you know, this is just saying, you know, have the confidence in whatever faith you're trying to hold right now. Whatever faith you have in God, have the confidence to believe in yourself and to believe in Him, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like you've been through something where, you know, you could have been wrongly accused for something. This wasn't your fault. That's what I'm hearing here. You did nothing wrong and someone has, you know, stuck some sort of blame onto you. They could have threw you under the bus and, you know, this could be someone who fell out with you. So they threw you under the bus in the sense where... You know, they've told people your secrets. They've told people whatever happened with you two guys. Or they could have just completely lied. That's what I'm hearing here too. Yeah, so. I feel like, because with the ecstasy card in reverse, I feel like you could have been, you know, taking some sort of drugs with people. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like this is a past energy though, like you used to do this. And I feel like people are saying that you still do this. But I do feel like something to do with ecstasy, like you've taken ecstasy and someone has, you know, revealed this to somebody else. Yeah, I feel like you could have had some sort of psychedelic experience when you took ecstasy. Yeah, you could have, you know, you could have stepped into a realm. That's what I'm hearing here. And, you know, you saw things in this realm. You saw, you know, you started to notice your psychic abilities. So maybe your third eye opened when you... You know, you took these drugs and you started to use your psychic abilities and you started to see things. Maybe you confided in this person and this person made you feel crazy. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing out of this world. They made, you know, you look completely, you know, insane. That's what I'm hearing. And I've got anti-hero. So I feel like, yeah, this person wanted everyone to look down on you like you're you're the bad guy so you could be like the black sheep of your family now because this person threw you under the bus 
Whereas before you was highly, you know, religious. I feel like this person has outed your, you know, your, your secrets to the world. That's what I'm hearing here. So you could be someone who really enjoys their self on nights out. I'm seeing that too. You could have a lot of tattoos. You know, you're the type of person who's quite high maintenance and you look after yourself. Well, I feel like, you know, you've taken some sort of drugs and someone has, you know, told everyone about this experience you had. So I feel like you started to, you know, when you started to travel through time, you had some kind of psychedelic experience. And, you know, you started to tell people, you know, receive visions. I'm hearing that too. And you started to tell people about these visions. You know, I'm seeing a lot of fish here. You could be a Pisces. That's what I'm hearing here too. But you don't have to be. This is for all signs. So, yeah, I feel like someone has told someone very close to you. So it could be your parents because I'm hearing your mother, what you've been doing and that you've gone crazy. I'm hearing that. This person's jealous of you. They've never experienced this kind of high before. That's what I'm hearing. They don't know how to travel through time. You know, they started to tell people you're going crazy and you're seeing, you know, spirits because you're on drugs, but you're not on no drugs. You had, you know, the first experience when you'd taken something, but after that, you started to develop your psychic abilities. And this person's trying to say that you're on some sort of drugs because you've told them, you know, that you, you're psychic, that you see visions, you see, you know, passed on loved ones, you, you know, you talk to your ancestors and it's because they're jealous of you because you've changed and you've started to, you know, become enlightened. You've started to, you know, you've started to experience other realms, other worlds now. Yes, I've got me now in reverse. Yeah, they tried to say you've gone mad, but this is in reverse. So you haven't gone mad. This is a real energy. You've started to experience, you know, higher realms and you've started to talk to, you know, people who have passed away. You could have, you know, done a lot of studying. You could have esoteric knowledge, but I'm definitely seeing that your third eye opened. And you started to see beyond the physical realm. This is the truth. You know, you started to give people advice and you started to help them. And they tried to say you was crazy. This isn't true. That's what I'm hearing. This is real. You do talk to people who have passed away. You do, you know, channel energies. You do talk to, you know... You, you can hear things, that's what I'm seeing. So you've developed your psychic abilities, your clairvoyant, clairaudient, claircognient, I'm hearing too. You you know, you, you've opened up your chakras. Yeah, people are trying to bring you down. You're an empath and they, they're not, that's what I'm hearing here. You're a kind person, they're not. They completely threw you under the bus when you told them about these experiences you're having. But they are the truth, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, so it's time to believe in yourself and stand up for what you believe in. If you're psychic, you're psychic. Nobody can tell you you're not, you know. Use your gifts for your highest good. That's what I'm hearing. Honour yourself. You know, keep your standards high because what you see is the truth. And anyone who doubts you, you know, they're wolves in your life. They shouldn't be in your life. They will only damage you, bring you down, and make you unbelieve 
in your own intuition. That's what I'm hearing. Your light worker to be. That's what I'm picking up to. Yeah, so like I said, you was highly religious before. You was into, you know, whatever religion you're in, very hard. That's what I'm seeing. But you're now spiritual and people don't like that. They think you're doing something bad when you're not. You're doing things for your highest good. Like I said, you became enlightened. And, you know, you started to tell people that you was close to. I feel like it was one person. And this person completely took everything you said out of context. You know, you was an inspiration to this person, but they took it, you know, they wanted to find a way. That's how I feel here. To kind of, to, to destroy you because they were jealous of the fact that, you know, you are psychic and you have these inspirational ideas and you download and channel these ideas that's what i feel here you told the wrong person yes yeah, so i got outsider in reverse this person tried to push you out by throwing you under the bus they want you to be, you know, completely alone. But at the same time, there's a lot of other people that are interested in your gifts, that want you to be part of their world, that want to, you know, to learn from you. You know, you've discovered crystals and you started to meditate and you charge up your life. You, you know, you, you receive channeled messages you protect yourself and you're being guided that's what i'm hearing here and people you know they're starting to think you're crazy you're like i said an outsider the black sheep of the family so this could be a relative that you confided in i feel like i said this person was waiting for their opportunity to bring you down to destroy you and you know you told them about this experience you had and since then they've completely said you're crazy you're on drugs you know you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing but you're not you're doing the right thing and this person's like a monster just waiting to imprison you just preying on you for a struggle that's what i'm hearing so they could be you know they could be kind of um spiritually attacking you too that's what i'm seeing here at the same time i feel like they want to see you struggle because you said these things because they think that you're on drugs but you're not this is a true experience that you experienced and from that day you started to listen to your guides your intuition and to you know whatever this is that's what i'm hearing you started to listen to god You know, this person has a lot of demons who's trying to destroy you. So I feel like there's always waiting for, you know, any little opportunity to, you know, to, to upset you, to let you down, to, you know, drop you out, I'm hearing. Yeah, all the knowledge that you've acquired, you studied, you know the truth, you know hidden esoteric knowledge. You know about, you know, undercover things that people aren't supposed to know. And you, you know, you wear protection jewellery, you protect yourself. You read a lot, I'm seeing that too, but you're definitely studying. And I'm hearing global knowledge here too. You have knowledge of all religions, so you're not just... You know, you're not just into one religion, you know about all of them and you know the way to God is through Jesus Christ, I'm hearing that too. So you've learned so much and you've studied, you're very intelligent and you're at the level of a genius now because you did the work, you, you gained that knowledge, that wisdom. You know, you looked inside of yourself and you opened up the knowledge and wisdom that you already had inside of yourself. 
So you know, you only speak in the truth. And because people are, you know, small minded, I'm hearing, you know, they didn't think outside the box and they only follow what they know. They think you're crazy, but I'm telling you now, you're not. You're a genius and you, you know, you can use this knowledge to help other people now and to make their life better and to make your own better. I'm hearing that too. Okay, so this is your message and I hope this helps you. So don't forget to like and subscribe and check the description box if you'd like a personal reading. Okay, so bye guys.